This episode brought to you by My Patriot Supply and PrepareWithDroneTech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. I've seen for myself how the original sin of slavery weaved white supremacy into our founding documents and principles. Racism is the problem of the racist, and it is the problem of the society that produces the racist. And in today's world, that's every society. In America, that, that takes many forms. It's the white supremacy that led to the senseless killing of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Amon Aubrey, and so many other black Americans. China's envoy to the UN in Geneva has issued a call for Western governments to address problems of racial discrimination and hate crimes in their countries. The diplomat Chen Xu was speaking at a UN Human Rights Council session. He urged the US to stop the spread of racial discrimination and hate-driven violence against African and Asian Americans. Go ahead in the back. Thanks, Jen. Uh, the US ambassador to the UN, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, talking to a group on Wednesday, said that white essentially said that white supremacy is woven into our founding documents and principles. Now this statement is getting widely criticized as essentially parroting Chinese Communist Party talking points. So is the president going to remove her from her position as the representative before that body to promote United States values? Is the president going to remove an African-American woman with decades of experience in the Foreign Service who is widely respected around the world from her position as ambassador to the UN? He is not. He, will t he is proud to have her in that position. He, she is not only qualified, uh, he believes she is exactly the right person in that role at this moment in time. I have not seen her comments. I will say that there's no question that there has been a history of institutional racism in this country, and that doesn't require the UN ambassador to confirm that. So essentially the same lecture, though, that the Chinese delegation gave Secretary Blinken in Alaska last month. So does the president think our founding documents are racist? Uh, I would say that uh, I, will, uh, I will leave my comments to speak for themselves, and certainly I think most people recognize the history of systemic racism in our country, uh, and uh, she was speaking to that. 